Joe, okay. welcome to Happy Hour. How are you? Good to be here. Thanks for having me. I'm great. Thanks. How did it? Hi, we're going to get right into it. How did it feel um, just being back and seeing all the women tonight? Oh, it was amazing. You know, I left pretty early on in the season. And so I had total FOMO and, um, you know, I, I watched them each week and I miss them more and more, honestly. And I've been saying that I, you know, I call them my tribe. They are a group of women that I've been in search of since my husband passed away. You know, it's kind of lousy being 60s and 70s and single and it's a lonely place. And I walked into the room the first night and there were 21 people there that are just like me. And it felt so good to be able to relate and have a whole group of people that you could relate to and you could call your friends. And they were so supportive and we were instant friends and we got to know each other over the few weeks and um you know i feel like they're friends for life and i missed i miss them terribly and when i walked down the stairs today and saw them all standing there i it just did my heart good nice. it really is like the best reunion the tell-alls like it's so <laughs> nice to see everyone and i feel like it's such a nerve-wracking night having everyone sitting around you just makes you feel so much more secure it did like i like i wanted to when people were talking i wanted to just run over and hug each one of them but you know we were, we had our seats and you had to stay there I was sitting next to Nancy and we were like holding hands half the time. She's my, my good buddy. She actually even lives close to me. Oh, really? That's yeah. awesome. I, love I live that. in Maryland. She lives in Virginia. We're like 20 minutes away from each other. Oh, oh my gosh. Nice. That's meant to be. How yeah. were you feeling about seeing Gary tonight? And did you kind of know what you might want to say to him if you got to talk to him? So I didn't know. I didn't really actually know he was going to be here. I guess I should have. And um, so I didn't have anything kind of planned in my head. But I was really excited to see him because like when you leave um, these, you know, when you when you leave Bachelor, you leave really abruptly. Like it's not, you know, a normal, you know, like breakup or whatever. I am. I, I, I couldn't even call mine a breakup. I mean, I had to leave for my daughter's health. And um, so it was super abrupt. And I felt like I... I felt brokenhearted. I felt like I, I broke his heart and um, like we had no closure. I, like I, we never spoke again. And so like I, I finally had the chance to say, you know, I felt like we had this unfinished business and um, I'm sorry about it. And I've seen now the hometown visits and I see that he connected with people and I, I was, I'm happy for him. I, I, I feel like I lost out, but that was part of my journey and it is what it is, but I'm really happy for him. He deserves it. He's a really, really good man. This is going to be more of a, a difficult question, but watching it back, do you think you could have gotten there with Gary where some of these other women are at this point? Um, I do, honestly, like we had our one on one date and we didn't have one of those epic dates where you go on a yacht or, you know, an ATV in or anything like that we had just a normal date where you sit down at a table and, you know, over food and you talk to somebody and um, like we connected. We had so many things in common. We talked, you only see a little snippet of it, but we were together for probably two and a half hours. In fact, they finally, finally said, you know, it's time to be done. You guys, it, you know, it's like 11 o'clock at night. It's time to go. We um, were having such a great conversation. And for the first time since my husband passed away, I actually like started to envision life with somebody else. With like, we had so much in common and he's such a dear man. I thought, boy, I, I could actually picture this. So you know, when the next morning I got the text and um, talked to my daughter and had to leave, um, I felt like I was leaving, like, you know, like it was the beginning of our journey. And I thought we, we, we had a long way to go. Mm. How hard or I don't know if it was hard or easy or challenging, but how would you describe making that decision to leave? Because, you know, you talked so much about how it was a big decision for you to come on the show. You're making that decision for yourself. You get there, you have this connection and then you're pulled back home. What was making that decision like for you? It wasn't even a hard decision, honestly. So I got this text from my daughter and she was trying she and her husband were trying to figure this out but she was just so emotional which is very unlike my daughter so she is the strong 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 girl she's had um, multiple open heart surgeries in her life and i think it's just made her tough like i honestly 
I've seen her cry maybe 15 times in her life. So when she reached out with that heart-wrenching text and then I talked to her and she could not even be composed enough to have a conversation hardly. I, I was at that point too. I could not leave that mansion fast enough. I needed to be home. I would have walked across the desert if I had to. I was like, you guys have to book me a flight like right now. And they're like, we have things to do. You can't leave yet. So it was... Um, it wasn't a hard decision. It was hard. It was emotional. I was very, very sad that I had to do it, but being home was the only, only place I could be. I, I had to be there. Yeah. It seems like that. It, it, it seems like it would almost have been impossible for you to even like fully commit yourself to Gary with all that going on back home. Yeah. You're, you're very right about that actually. Jerry. And, yeah. and how is, how is your daughter and your family right now? So they are great. Um, I got home, um, got her a little, a little help, you know, got her, found her a doctor, a little therapy, a little meds, and she is amazing. They are great parents. They are loving being parents now. They went from like, like, um, you know, the weight of the world on them to really, really loving it. And they have the cutest little baby daughter, Hartley, and she just learned how to smile and we just can't get enough of her. So all is good in the world now. Yeah, that's amazing. We're so happy for you, for your daughter, for your family. And as much as it didn't work out with Gary, you are definitely it's a step towards you finding what's meant for you. And you're amazing. You're definitely going to find the perfect person. Thank you. You guys know you did it. (laughs) We did. did. Wait, I have to ask you, do you have extensions or is this your real hair? I have some extensions. Okay, your hair yeah. is amazing. I wish. Like, oh, I wish no it was intense. Yeah. I yeah. was like, the, I'm like, how do you have it? What's your secret? Don't have this one. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Jones. Me.